Hello and welcome to the class news update at 10. Coming up, four more arrested in connection with the murder of Royal Cozy Hill Hotel CEO at Drapa. Also, the 2024 NDC flag bearer John Mahama pledges to probe $300 million mess at the produce buying company should he become president in 2025. My name is Elizabeth Adu. Now the Ghana Police Service has arrested four more people in connection with the murder of the Chief Executive Officer of the Royal Cozy Hill Hotel, Eric Johnson at Drapa in the Upper West Region. His son, this sends the total of suspects apprehended to five. The suspects who are all workers at the hotel are in police custody assisting with investigation together with suspect Kumbata Kweku who was arrested earlier. According to the police, investigation would continue to ensure that all perpetrators are brought to book. We'll bring you updates on that subsequently. Now moving away from that, Chief Executive of Global Security for West Africa Research and Good Governance, Francis Ahovi, is urging 20 2024 flag bearer the new patriotic party mr maumud baumia to resign from his current position as vice president this he says is important to preserve the crumbs of what he left of mr baumia dwindling reputation francis ahovi comment is in reaction to dr baumia's controversial attempt to absolve himself of blame in the current economic mess during his address last wednesday take a listen I think the honorable thing for Dr. Baumia, the vice president of Ghana, to do now is to resign honorably as the vice president of this nation. That way, Ghanaians will start to see him from another perspective, believing him to not be in agreement with some of the policies that this current government imposes on Ghanaians, including the e-levy tax. That was the Executive Secretary of Global Security for Africa Research and Good Governance, Francis Ahovi. Now, the Tertiary Education Workers Union of Tewu has urged its members to continue their industrial strike despite a meeting with government on Friday, February 9, 2024. Tewu GH declared an industrial strike on February 1 to demand the payment of members' Tier 2 and vehicle maintenance allowance. The government agreed to pay their Tier 2 of members, which is, has since honored with the vehicle maintenance allows still in areas. Tewu GH in a statement on Monday therefore urged its members to continue with the strike action until the vehicle maintenance allowance is paid to deserving members. Now moving away from that former president and 2024 flag bearer of the National Democratic Congress, John Dramani Mahama has vowed to launch a full-scale investigation into the alleged mismanagement of the produce buying company as well as circumstances surrounding the company whooping 300 million dollar debt the john ramani mahama who expressed shock at the devastating situation of the company shared extreme concern about the plight of neglected staff of the company who are yet to retrieve a penny out of their nine-month arrears the ndc flag bearer has therefore pledged to ensure that any person responsible for the mess notwithstanding their position will face appropriate replications the workers of PBC have not been paid for about eight months to nine months, and it is not known when they would even receive their salaries. It is instructive to note that two of the directors who have led PBC into the ditch could see that they had finished the company, and so they were looking for new careers. So they went and stood as parliamentary candidates on MPP tickets, and God doesn't sleep. Happily, they both lost. They have to stay and wait for accountability. When we come, we will probe what happened to PBC. You had a former president, John Dramani Mahama. Now, before we leave, building the Ghana tour we want initially set to happen in the Greater Accra on Tuesday and Wednesday by the National Democratic Congress and flag bearer of the NDC, John Dramani Mahama, has been postponed. According to the NDC Regional Secretary Tofla Stete, the new date will be announced soon. This ends the class news update at 10 with me, Elizabeth Adu. For more news and updates, do log on to classfmonline.com. Class 91.3 FM.